Hello and welcome. Some of you might know me as Black Dahlia, but my real name is Elizabeth Short. It's funny how life can take you from one place to another, leading you down paths you never imagined. My name is Elizabeth Short, but most people know me as the Black Dahlia. It's a name that's become synonymous with tragedy and mystery, a name that's forever tied to the darkness of my story. I was born in Boston, and from a young age, I dreamed of becoming a star. Hollywood was where my heart was set, so I packed my dreams and headed west to Los Angeles. The City of Angels had a way of making dreams feel both within reach and impossibly distant. In LA, I was just a small figure in a vast sea of hopeful faces. I wandered through the streets, from one audition to another, hoping to catch my big break. There were moments of optimism and moments of despair, but I kept pushing forward, believing that one day, the spotlight would shine on me. Life wasn't easy, and I often found myself struggling to make ends meet. But I wore my dreams like armor, determined not to let the hardships break me. I had this vibrant spirit, a zest for life that I held on to tightly. Maybe that's why people started calling me the Black Dahlia. My dark hair, my love for black clothing, and my distinct presence made me stand out in a city where standing out was everything. Then came that fateful day in January 1947. The day everything changed. The day my story took a dark turn that no one could have predicted. I can't even begin to imagine the horror my loved ones felt when they heard the news of my death. I was just 22, with so much life ahead of me, so many dreams left unfulfilled. The details of what happened next are a blur, a mixture of facts and rumors that swirl together in a haze. The discovery of my body, the grotesque way in which I was posed, it's something no one should ever have to endure. I was meant for something greater, something brighter. As the investigation unfolded, my name was splashed across newspapers and my story was dissected by the media and the public alike. The speculation, the theories, the endless chatter, it was overwhelming. I wish I could have spoken up, shared my truth, and told everyone that there was so much more to me than the gruesome details that defined my final moments. Time has passed, and yet the mystery remains. The questions surrounding my death have never been answered, the truth forever eluding those who seek it. But I want to be remembered for more than the darkness that surrounds my name. I want people to remember the dreams I had, the determination that drove me, and the hope that lit up my eyes. Though my life was tragically cut short, I hope that somehow, in some small way, my story can inspire others to hold on to their dreams, to never give up, and to shine brightly even in the face of darkness.